causing havoc as it lingers over land in the Carolinas. Yeah, Kieran, it's now been downgraded to a tropical depression, but it's caused the death of at least 14 people and has left more than 700,000 people without power. Sky News reporter Dilly Lynch is in one of the worst hit regions and has all the details. We are with the US Marines. This is part of the rescue operation here in Jacksonville and the real risk is with the water now. These roads have become complete here. Houses completely submerged. There is a petrol station in the distance there. The pumps completely covered and many unfortunately in this neighborhood we we are inside their homes and desperately need to be rescued. Even the Marines haven't been able to get for a couple of days. We are now going in. We've heard reports that a 66-year-old man who has breathing difficulties is stuck somewhere close to here. We've seen one or two kayaks. I've been on the phone all morning with Coast Guard Rescue. They are overwhelmed to try where they can get to. But of course, nobody has any power. There are fallen cables, which of course pose a major danger to people as well. Lots of those have been hit by falling trees. And so whilst those winds have passed, it's the water now that the residents have to deal with. And there's simply a lot of those that the emergency services don't know about and need to reach. But these waters... Uh, are full of bacteria there when we were previously in New Bern they were speaking of alligators in the water of petrol as well so it's challenging